The dissolution of the Austro-Hungarian Empire in the aftermath of World War I marked the end of an era and a significant shift in the political landscape of Central Europe. The Treaty of saint germain en laye signed in 1919, played a pivotal role in redefining the region and shaping the destiny of nations. This article delves into the historical context, key provisions of the treaty, and the lasting impact of its consequences. The Austro-Hungarian Empire The Austro-Hungarian Empire, established in 1867, was a multi-ethnic and multicultural monarchy that encompassed a vast territory in Central and Eastern Europe. With its capital in Vienna, the empire comprised diverse ethnic groups, including Austrians, Hungarians, Czechs, Slovaks, Poles, Ukrainians, Slovenes, Croats, and others. However, the empire faced growing nationalist aspirations and internal tensions that ultimately led to its demise. World War I and the Collapse of the Empire The outbreak of World War I proved to be a turning point for the Austro-Hungarian Empire. The empire was a key participant in the conflict, but military defeats, internal strife, and mounting nationalist sentiments within its borders weakened its cohesion. By the war's end in 1918, the empire was in a state of disintegration, with various national groups declaring their independence. The Treaty of saint germain en laye The Treaty of saint germain en laye signed on September 10, 1919, between the victorious Allied powers and the newly formed Republic of Austria, formally recognized the end of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. The treaty aimed to redraw the political boundaries in Central Europe and impose severe penalties on Austria as a defeated power. Key Provisions of the Treaty The Treaty of saint germain en laye contained several crucial provisions that reshaped the region. A. Territorial changes Austria lost significant territories, including South Tyrol, Trentino, Trist, Istria, and parts of Carinthia and Styria. These territories were transferred to Italy, Yugoslavia, and Czechoslovakia. B. Disarmament and military restrictions Austria was forced to disarm and limit its military capabilities. The size of the Austrian army was significantly reduced and restrictions were imposed on the production and possession of weapons. c. Reparations and economic obligations Austria was burdened with significant financial reparations, contributing to its economic challenges in the post-war period. d. Recognition of new nations The treaty recognized the independence of several new nations that emerged from the Austro-Hungarian Empire, including Czechoslovakia, Yugoslavia, and Poland. Consequences and Legacy The Treaty of saint germain en laye had profound and long-lasting consequences for Central Europe. It marked the end of the Austro-Hungarian Empire and the birth of numerous independent nations. The redrawing of borders and the creation of new states, although aimed at addressing national aspirations, also led to tensions and unresolved territorial disputes that continue to impact the region to this day. Reflection on National Identity The dissolution of the Austro-Hungarian Empire forced the various national groups to redefine their identities within the newly established nation-states. The legacy of the empire, its cultural diversity, and its complex history continue to shape the collective memory and cultural fabric of the countries that emerged from its collapse.